God, I can't even pronounce this school. It's not, it's not call me. We are inside the railway museum. How much you want to bet she's out of there? Less than two seconds. Wow. I'm just not, not used to this. No, because she, she only uses flip flops to do hiking. <coughs> she just farted downwind. You heard that? She wonders how far we are from dinner. She's not talking to me, folks. Send the Rangers. You got this. Send, send Steve a cigar. This is a strawberry sunrise blonde. It has a hint of a strawberry taste to it. Very good. Mm. All right. What'd you order? These are beer, beer fries. And this is a pizza with bell pepper, mushroom, onion, and garlic. And this is a strawberry blonde beer. All right. All right. These are good. I mean, there's nothing special about them, but they have a hint of salt, which I like. They're kind of crispy. They're good, and they're not too thick. I don't like thick steak fries, so these are perfect. You try the pizza? Yeah. The pizza, you see it's got a big chunk of garlic on there, which I love. And it's got a bell pepper and a little bit of a mushroom and not a whole lot of the sauce. Let's try it. Mm. This pizza is where it's at. It's very crispy. The bottom of this pizza is very crispy, which I like. And then and this doesn't, it's not overpowering with sauce. So I really like this. Right, I go. would order this again. Very quaint little town. This is their downtown in, Scott, I can't even pronounce it, school. It's not. <laughs> Not call me? No, try again. But anyhow, this is like their little train thing. And we're gonna walk down. Snow call me. Oh, snow call me. We're gonna snob. walk down and go to their um they have a waterfall here. So we're gonna walk over to that and um go check it out. We just left the brewery. They have a little ice cream shop over there too. And they want some ice cream. And they have all these uh, abandoned train carts. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cool. Let's see. Here's this ambulance cart. Trunk on that thing. Yeah. It's big. Oh, there's a cup of We are inside the railway museum. Sure. Not much to really see besides a bunch of posters and facts about the past history of Snow Colony. They uh, monitor what train was on what switch. That ham radio? No, there's a dial gauges and the track system. 
And then these, I guess, are the levers they pulled to activate the different configurations. Is it a matter of the, all the various points of interest in Snoqualmie? The thing I wanted to note that I now am getting better at pronouncing this town's name <laughs> after lots of multiple attempts of mispronunciation. So we're probably going to go here to check out this, uh, the waterfall, but it looks like we're here. I thought this was a museum, but it doesn't look, it looks like it's just the the depot district. Um, the thing is, I think the museum is the train tracks themselves and the trains that are just in all these various uh, trolley carts that are spread throughout the whole region, which is kind of cool. But then the actual museum is all the way back here, according to this map anyway. Don't, don't trip and fall. How much do you want to bet she's out of there? Less than two seconds. One, two. All right. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe she's actually interested in this historical, historical museum. Let's go. Controls, control, main shutoff valve, injector shutoff valve. Wow. So this gives you the, the whole like engine. It's a steam engine. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy just the amount of heat they must have dealt with, especially yeah, over the summer. Yeah, it's a little warm in here already and it's not even on. <laughs> <laughs> you getting claustrophobic? Uh. All right, she's done with that. But that's kind of cool how they, um, my, my grandmother's sister's husband was a train dude. Train dude? Yeah, he that's what on, they call him the back in the day? He worked on trains. I forgot what he did on Death by Death. Mm. He was like a, a conductor or something on the train. <laughs> Not to ask. We're going to have to fact check that. Yeah, <laughs> Get back he to did. you. He was. He was a place worked on trains. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I forgot for I think it was Amtrak, but I'll have to find out. But that's what he did. Yeah. Okay. There so you have it. this train is the U.S. Plywood Corp. U.S. Plywood. We are in Snoqualmie Falls Park. I'm gonna check out the fall and perhaps do maybe a small little hike. See what else they have to offer. It's a big map of the whole area. I didn't realize it's that big. It looks tiny on the, the Google Maps, but it's, uh, it's quite sizable of an area. This big thing you see in front of you is a hydro turb turbine. It's a water wheel. Yeah. And according to this, uh, you know, water falls on it and turns it and generates, I guess, electricity. Of course, it's just mechanical power. Transforms water pressure into mechanical energy. Yeah, it goes Let me just tell you about this this state. It's very cool here, so we wore heavy clothes. The minute the sun comes out, it's like the summer hit. Yeah. And then the sun is in and out, so five minutes from now it'll be freezing. Yeah. So you don't know what to wear, and I wore heavy clothes, and now I'm like dying. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Florida right now. She's complaining about not having the proper wardrobe selection. It's like you go through patches of cold and then it's 90 degrees. There it is. The big waterfall.
very beautiful though. in Florida. Look how pretty this is. All the leaves are starting to turn. I just didn't think we'd see fall, but we're seeing fall. I wish we could see everything, but it's pretty cool. We don't have this by us. Look at this view over here. Wow. It's a better view of the waterfall. God, it's so big. Signs of wildlife. A uh, snake. I think you can Google it. Let me see. Hold on. Let me put this up here. Let me see if I can zoom in. All right. Whoever in the comments, they can tell me what kind of snake it is. Much appreciated. This is our first wildlife. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're used to seeing snakes in Florida, but beyond that, it's new for us. Look at them. Seem perfectly still there. How do you, how do you? I almost ran into them. Just approach this sign. Please do not feed animals. We have a bear, rain, a deer, cougar, and then Sasquatch. Nice. Oh, this is hilly. Okay, so now it's in the chilly spot. She's this now in a sun. better mood now. The sun's not right here. Now that the sun. Oh wait, hold on. Now that we're in some shade and the sun is away, yeah, it's, it's a bit not chillier. So bad right here. It's a little chillier. We're in like the middle of the woods. And she made me go back to the car and pick up some the water. darn book bag because her, her she was afraid of her purse and stolen. And we wanted some water because I was thirsty and we're going on a hike. So that snake that we saw earlier today, I googled it, and earlier today it was like five minutes ago. <laughs> It, earlier, earlier, a moment ago. It was a, a northern, what is it? Northwestern West. Gar Gardner snake or Gardner snake or something like that. And Wikipedia said nothing about it being poisonous. I, we hope that's true. <laughs> but it, it uh, eats um, salamanders and slugs, right? What were we looking at? Thimbleberry. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. There you go, folks. We're walking down a hill. You okay, hon? <laughs> I'm just not, not used to this. No, because she, she only uses flip flops to do hiking. Oh, so I'm not flip flops, though. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have hills in Florida. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she just. Damn. <laughs> Just farted downwind. Don't Warn me next time. Don't do that on video. I didn't know. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, but we gotta be up at like four in the morning. Excuse me, little miss. I like to go to casino at freaking three or four o'clock. Suddenly, you you care about being timely. Here she is, hiking know. in the forest, I don't know how I like. thinking about selfies. Do you like that one or that one? And notice oh. that that her hiking gear consists of a coach wallet purse, <laughs> <laughs> fashionable sunglasses, Get them. <laughs> Vessi shoes. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Got to have the right entourage. To enjoy nature. Be one with it. Another turbine. Look how big yeah. it is. And uh, we're approaching the base of the valley of the waterfall. Look at this shot of this tubes, penstocks. Kai up it goes. 
So I guess the waterfalls down here, what does it say? Uh, the Penstock pipelines and Hillsborough Cary diverted uh, Snoq Snoqualmie River water to the turbines of the power plant. The force of the water current flowing downhill applies pressure to the turbines, turns the blades, and builds up kinetic energy, so they can then generate electricity. Wow, these are huge. I don't know if they can get a sense of scale of this through the camera, but they're 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 quite massive. Well, there, different angled shot of it. Go all the way up. And fall right back down. Maybe the stairs and the ladders give you a sense of how of size. And we finally reached the base. You see here is the shot of the waterfall. I mean the river that leads up to the waterfall. Beautiful. The water. The water seems so clear, right? Is this reminding you of the sandy beaches you're missing back home in the Caribbean? Uh, from no. your cruise ship? It does remind me of the places on our cruise. Mm. I love any of this. I can hear the waterfall tonight while I'm at home. Really? Thinking it's the ocean water and the waves. Really? <laughs> balcony and around. that balcony that you already are missing? Yes. If I could take my dog. Oh, forget it. I'll lose her. She will never come back. Beautiful. So we walked this boardwalk and trail for, I want to say roughly 20 minutes, maybe close to a half hour, and it leads to this particular view of the waterfall. Yeah, probably. <sighs> For those that don't know, once you go to the lower viewing point of the snow call me. No, it's not. It's the second parking lot over there. Uh, snow call me waterfall viewing point. That um, it does the trail doesn't go into a full circle that we thought. It actually just ends there. We have to just go back uphill to the original starting point of the trail. So we gotta go all the way back. Whew. She's gonna be grumpy. Look at her. She's grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? She wonders how far we are from dinner. Spoken like a true cruiser. Like a true cruiser. It's called a reservation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're almost there, baby. We had it, you know, we're burning those calories that we gain on the ship. Whew. Whew. What a what an easy stroll really in nature. Yeah. How are you feeling? I shouldn't have listened to you. <laughs> what? Can I have my water, please? Sounds it's romantic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I would have known it didn't loop all the way around. We would have been done a long time ago. Give me my water. All right, go get gotta her water. One eternity later. Day three of our upward hill trek. And Sherry's still thinking about that cruise buffet and balcony. She's not talking to me, folks. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't think we're gonna make it. Send the, send the, send the rangers. If you got this, send the coast guard. Send, send Steven Seagal.
It's a good warm-up for the main trail. I never said that. I said it may seem like a loop. You know, we're, we're just building our appetite for dinner. That's all. A few moments later. Coming up on the right, here's the various train carts and train stations. Jesus, you're like this. Can you see, guys? I'm like, So here's a pretty mountain. We don't know what this is, but it's very pretty. It's the main mountain here. Yeah. All right, you ready to climb it? No. <laughs> that was a quick note. We are approaching North Bend. Which is known for? You don't know why we're here. That's because it was the filming location of Twin Peaks, oh. the old TV show. Yeah, but we have to find, I don't even know where it was filmed here. Though. I barely remember that TV show. I don't know. <laughs> I just came here because everyone keeps saying that that's a, it's a touristy spot. I think it's on their website and we have to look it up. Yeah, I barely remember anything about that show. I never watched it. All, all I remember was the, the, the weird dwarf dancing at the end with a really weird ending and I had no idea what the heck happened. All right, let me Google that and I'll be right back with you. So here it is, that's it, right there. That's the cafe that it was filmed in. Oh, Isn't that a neat, neat little tip? We are going down the strip, just checking it out. They have a few car dealerships here. Um, fitness center. A pho place. It's pronounced pho. 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 A dairy freeze. Small little town, huh? Yeah, not much here. Rio Bravo. I wonder if that's part of the old school Rio Bravo that used to be around back in the day. That's it. And I'm guessing that is it. Really, they just have that Twin Peaks Cafe and like one or two other places and that's the end of it. Building some townhouses right here if anybody wants to come move to this area. There you have it. There are some houses you can move to. It's a beautiful view though. Look at that. Beautiful mountains yeah, out on the left. some mountains. Oh, I'm not even filming. Um, coffee, beer, wine. It's a cute little place. Gats. Mount Sai. Yeah, that's the main name of the mountain, Mount Sai. Oh. That's Mount Sai, right? Oh, that's what the pizza was named after. Oh my god, now you it's <laughs> Now you know. The next day. Good morning. It is very early. Um, we are at the airport headed back home to Tampa. There's a hurricane coming. So we used to go home to that mess, gotta get to the store and they're out of everything. So this will be fun. And uh, it's the end of our trip. I'd rather be back on the cruise. We should have just stayed, gone another week. And I'm back to back since there's a hurricane coming, right? He wants to get home. I'm ready to go. All in all though, like, this airport, it's the worst trying to get through. Now I understand why Tampa is the number whatever, top three or something in the nation. Because really? it's like zoom, zoom, zoom. This security was a nightmare. Checking in bags was a nightmare. Well, the seaport thing was nice. Yeah, luckily we had some email that expedited our process. But if we wouldn't have done that, we might not have even made our flight. And we were here two hours before. So. But anyhow, 
Maybe we'll come back next year. Excellent vacation. Highly recommend an Alaska cruise. Yep. There you have it, folks. Bye. Until next time. Thank you.